What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Manchester United Arsenal post-match analysis video. Especially if you are a Man United or an Arsenal fan, leave a comment. What is your reaction to Arsenal beating Man United at Old Trafford for the first time since 2006? Yes, 14 years it has been since Arsenal beat Manchester United and also it has been almost like five years, maybe even six years, since Arsenal won away at a traditional top six club. And that is absolutely incredible and huge credit to Arsenal and Mikel Arteta. They were full credit, fully deserved to win this game. Full credit uh, goes to Arsenal for the three points. They just played much, much better than Manchester United. And I also thought that tactically Arteta set up Arsenal in a way which uh, we didn't uh, see many times under Unai Emery, under uh, Jumberg, under even Arsene Wenger in the past few years of his last few years of his tenure. Wenger didn't really set up his team like this against a big team and Man United don't feel like a big team anymore and I don't want to wind up the Man United fans as good as it feels as a Liverpool fan to see Man United really struggle in the Premier League. I mean for the past four league games from a potential 12 points Man United gets two points, two draws and no one point sorry I think yeah, they lost to Crystal Palace, they lost to Tottenham, they lost to Arsenal and they could only draw uh, with Chelsea. That is absolutely incredible. A disastrous home form that Man United, just the worst recruitment that you have ever seen in Premier League history. Man United spent almost as much money as Manchester City on their team in the past like seven years since Ferguson retired but even in the past like four years and even on the real Gunnar Solskjaer I, I find this pretty uh, much nonsense that many many people are saying the Man United didn't back their manager how can you say that when Man United spent the second most money uh, since uh, Guardiola came into the league and they look absolutely shocking, absolutely dreadful. And what I also didn't understand is McTominay, who had a shocking first half. He was all over the place, chasing shadows against Arsenal. He should have been substituted at halftime. But not only did he stay on for the whole game, but Surshiar brings off Bruno Fernandes and Mason Greenwood, arguably the two most dangerous players at Man United right now, apart from Marcus Rashford, the two players that you expect a goal from, he takes them off and he leaves uh, McTominay on. Pogba also had a pretty dreadful game, he gave away a pen the penalty, and by the way, Arsenal should have been 3-0 up in the first half, they were that good going forward, and I don't understand how can Man United put in a performance like this when they have just beaten Leipzig 5-0 in a pretty ruthless attacking display. They were full of energy against Leipzig. And in this one, they started slow, lethargic. They started like a team who just didn't want to be bothered really about this game. And this was one of the biggest games of the Man United season. After not winning for the first three home games, I expected Man United to come out, and especially after beating Paris Saint-Germain away from home, beating Leipzig at home, 5-0, PSG and Leipzig right now are arguably better teams than Arsenal, and I expected Man United, full of confidence, to come out all guns blazing, attack Arsenal, really pack them back, and get on the front foot, and they didn't do that. Maybe Solskjaer thought tactically, just let's sit back, let's get, let's give Arsenal the ball, and we will hit them on the counter because Man United like to play on the counter attack. They they excel against teams who attack them and they leave space behind because they have so much, so many fast players like Rashford, Greenwood, Martial didn't play today, but he's usually also in the lineup. And maybe that was intentional. Man United basically handed the initiative, the momentum to Arsenal, and they never got it back. Never in the 90 minutes 
where Arsenal under serious pressure and yes Man United hit the post it was a lucky double ricochet it was actually hilarious with five minutes to go Man United had maybe their first like very dangerous attack of the second half and uh, a cross is whipped in and I think it's uh, Tierney who uh, deflects the cross onto Leno's head it hits Leno's head then it hits the post and it comes out it was absolutely hilarious I was I was laughing so hard I should have recorded that so uh, overall on the balance of play Arsenal fully deserved the win and May I did have huge huge problems and I really hope this was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's 100th game and I honestly think Man United should have sacked Solskjaer like one year ago. Man United had a great second half of last season. They came back really, really well. They roared uh, into third place. But that was mainly because Leicester City absolutely collapsed because of getting too many injuries. And also, who was responsible for Man United starting last season as well in a shocking manner? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He is ultimately the manager who is responsible for the results and honestly they should have appointed Pochettino a long long time ago honestly one year ago I would have sacked Solskjaer if I was the Man United board but they are just happy raking in the money they don't care about like building Man United up into a title winner team or a Champions League winning team I love it as a Liverpool fan but if I was a Man United fan I would be absolutely fuming with the owners. So Pochettino is available and ready to take over at Man United. And I, it blows my mind that they are persisting with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Who, don't get me wrong, he's not um, the worst manager in the world. But he's not the manager to take Man United back to where they want to be. Which is Premier League title contenders, Champions League contenders at this rate. They will be very lucky to finish in the top four. It would take another monumental collapse from one of the, one of the teams who are uh, in and around the top four. And I expect uh, Tottenham, Chelsea, Man City and Liverpool on this form to finish in the top four. And Man United and Arsenal will we'll have a mountain to climb. And this is a huge step in the right direction for Arsenal. And I think Mikel Arteta realised that Arsenal is lacking the quality in midfield and in the defense to really attack teams and to go uh, all out attack against uh, most sides. So Arteta is uh, setting up Arsenal in a very pragmatic, sensible uh, way with a three at the back, um, three center backs, two full backs, and Arsenal uh, really trying to just uh, get the ball to Aubameyang and also uh, Lacazette to try and, and basically get one goal and, or two goals and, and they are hoping that their defense with uh, the low block and also with Thomas Partey who was immense today I felt that they are hoping that they can keep, team keep teams out or keep restricting teams to scoring just zero or one goals against Arsenal and then they always have a chance because Arsenal even though they are not the greatest team going forward they have Aubameyang and that always gives you a chance to win the game because he is one of the best finishers in the Premier League and also actually Arsenal have one of the best defenses in the Premier League as weird as it sounds this season Mikel Arteta has really sorted them out defensively I have to say going forward of course you want more from Arsenal but you you have to understand that this is a work in progress and they are going in the right direction and I think Arteta is a decent manager who just needs time needs to implement his own ideas and they are actually going to be a very very interesting team to follow Arsenal so I, I wish Arsenal all the best of luck because I think they deserve better than what the, the fans have been subject to it's, it's the same for Man United except I don't really wish them all the luck because um, I grew up Man United, witnessing Man United winning everything in the Premier League in the Champions League in the League Cup in the FA Cup Arsenal uh, I mean Man United just kept winning trophy after trophy and we were in the place of uh, where Man United are right now as a Liverpool and we just kept hearing from Man United how we were never going to win the Premier League title again and how they are the best team in the world the biggest team in the in England 
And basically, Man United fans for 10, 15 years loved talking down to Liverpool fans, and they were very arrogant, very cocky. Well, now that the shoe is on the other foot, Man United fans now witness the same thing that Liverpool fans witnessed. And I think Man United, it will take a long, long time for them to win the title again. I'm not saying they will never win the title again, but it will take a long time, I think. And a major structural change is needed at Manchester United if they want to get anywhere near a Premier League title. And that, that comes down from the board, the people who are responsible for the transfers, the manager. Man United need to change a lot of things be be before they can challenge again for the Premier League title. And I think Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp will be long gone when Man United win the Premier League title again. That's my prediction, that's my feeling right now. So let me know what do you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day, see you later, good night.